lot of state, and you get good cents on the dollar. Mister, Mister you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Crazy old fool. You should see the Braithwaite woman. Jose and Sean were planning on going over to the Braithwaites. You haven't seen them? No, not yet. If they're there already, they better keep their heads down. We don't need this to be any more complicated than it already is. $5,000 for horses. We've been robbing the wrong folk all these years. Yeah. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But if we get even a third of that, it'll be worth it. So how are we gonna play this? The place is well guarded, so there ain't no point in blasting in there. Speak to him, okay? <sighs> All right, then. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. Our partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. <sighs> but perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay then, let's head on up to the stables. Someone will come see you. Oh, skip! Whoa! Oof! Yeah! and easy. No need to rush. We don't want to draw any unnecessary attention. Stables just up ahead. Heads down, play cool. We'll head around the front, hitch up there. Hello there. 
Can I help you boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You, Scarface, and your greaser buddy. Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs, looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. These here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working. If that's what you're interested in. What is your boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. Is that so? Unofficially. Of course. Well, this here's Cerberus. There you go, boy. Cerberus is a real reliable stud. Fathered many a race winner. This one's uh, Old Faithful. <laughs> he was a champion, briefly. Till he hurt his leg, didn't you, boy? Amazing runner, though. He's up for sale for a decent price. The boss would probably sell him to you if you made the right offer. And this here is Old Father Time. <laughs> My favorite horse. His scope might be a little thin for them Saratoga winners, but uh, it's bred right. He'll produce another winner. Just. recognizing this. All right, I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. <laughs> Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Easy now. Easy there. Easy. Marston, you're going to tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're going to lead the stallions. <laughs> hey, easy now. Marston, you right point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we'll regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. Whoa, whoa. Easy. <laughs> This here's Cerberus. There you go, boy. Cerberus is a real reliable stud. Fathered many a race winner. This one's uh, Old Faithful. <laughs> he was a champion, briefly, till he hurt his leg, didn't you, boy? Amazing runner, though. He's up for sale for a decent price. The boss would probably sell him to you if you made the right offer. And this here is Old Father Time, <laughs> my favorite horse. His scope might be a little thin for them Saratoga winners, but uh, bred right. He'll produce another winner. Just look at those balls. Uh huh, greaser, huh? Okay, bandana's on. Don't need nobody recognizing us. They know you. All right, I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. 
Easy now. Easy there, now. easy. Marston, you're gonna tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're gonna lead the stallions. This way. Come on. Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, regroup at Clemens Cove. This here's Cerberus. What? Cerberus is a reliable stud. Fathered many a race winner. Uh huh. Greaser, huh? Okay. Bandana's on. Don't need nobody recognizing us. All right. I'll grab the white one in the. Middle, you get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Easy, Easy now. Marston, you're gonna tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're gonna lead the stallions. Whoa, whoa. Easy. Take it easy. Whoa. It's okay, boy. Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you doing? Let's go, quick! Go, get out of here. I got the back. What the hell are you doing? Stop these men! Stop! Horses to come. 
Clement's Cove, quick, before we run into any more trouble. Just over there, come on. Let's get this over with. Well, that could have gone smoother. <sighs> Got you. That'll be on my gravestone. You think they look like they're paying 5,000 for horses? I guess we'll see. What you boys want? Heard you was, uh, heard you pay good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother, Clive. We're twins. John, Arthur, Javier. <clears throat> so what are you, Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. That so? Maybe. Why, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Woo, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Uh, sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They, they ain't yours, but I like you, and I'll give you... I can give you 650 for them. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But... I like you boys. But I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you. We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. Uh-huh. All right. You goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got $5,000, boys, but nice meeting you. <laughs> See you boys again, I hope. Come on. Yeah. Close the gate, Clive. Believed a yarn spun us by one of that Gray family and imagined we was gonna be wonderfully rich. At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. 